Hi, my name's Hilary Walton and I'm the Chief Information Security Officer at the Cordia Group. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the practical steps you can take to prepare your business for the new privacy law changes and also how to build a culture of resilience. The key things CISOs or security leaders should be aware of with the new privacy laws is that all of this is happening in a landscape that is changing in relation to data protection, both locally but also internationally. Key things to think about are that cybersecurity risks are ever increasing and we saw this particularly during the pandemic. In addition to that, the media are more on top of these issues as well, so that means greater brand damage if you should suffer an attack. And then on top of that, we have the international regulators who are starting to feel more comfortable waving their sticks and issuing fines. So this should definitely be on your radar. Some practical steps that CISA should be taking to prepare their business is absolutely reviewing their incident management plan. You're gonna to need to look at that and insert the mandatory breach notification into that plan. Then you're going to have to train your staff on your new plan and make sure that they've rehearsed that as well through simulations. On top of this, it's a good idea to look at your supplier contracts because you're going to need to make sure they're protecting data in the same way you would. To do this, you'll need to collaborate with your legal and privacy representatives to make sure that the intent of the act is through your processes. It may seem like a long way away, particularly with so much change going on at the moment, but now is definitely a good time to start because you may have to make significant changes to your systems and processes to comply with the Act. To bring your people, processes and systems together to make your organisation more resilient, it's more than just updating a policy and procedure and some once-off training. You're going to need to make sure that it's actually lived throughout your organisation. This means you need to have to look at the system that's involved. Sometimes looking at health and safety and security can be other good management systems to piggyback on and if we can get privacy in there as well, then there's strengths in those management systems to make sure that they are more effective. So it's a really good idea to look at building a culture of resilience in your company and a good place to start is to download our guide on how to build a culture of resilience.